Hello, welcome to Apex Math. Today we're going to look at exponents, and this will be our first lesson where we introduce uh, different concepts of exponents. And let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is just the basic concept of exponents, and I'm sure everybody's learned this before, but it's always good to start with a review of that. If we have a number and it's raised to a power, we need to remember that the uh, bottom number here is called the base, and the top number here is called the exponent. And the exponent tells us how many times to multiply the base times itself. So because the exponent is a 2, it means that we need to take the base and multiply it times itself twice. So we'd have 3 times 3, and we would get 9. If we had a number such as something to the third power, that would mean we would need to multiply something times itself three times. So the base here is 2, and 2 would get multiplied times itself three times. 2 times 2 is 4. Multiply these two, we get 4. And then multiply 4 times the 2, and we get 8. So what happens when we have a negative number? A negative number is just put in parentheses. So if we have negative 2 to the third, that would mean it's just negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So we do negative 2 times negative 2. Here we get a positive 4, and then we do a positive 4 times a negative 2, and we get a negative 8. Now, let's talk about the difference between this versus this. This is where a lot of students struggle, and it's real important to understand that when you have an exponent, it is only attaching itself to the thing immediately in front of it unless there are parentheses. So this is like saying negative 3 squared, where this 3 squared is way over here and the negative just kind of flows on at the end. So 3 squared is 9, and then this negative comes floating down, so the answer is negative 9. Now that's very different than this, which says I want to actually square negative 3, because the negative 3 is in parentheses and I'm squaring everything that is in those parentheses. So I'm multiplying the negative 3 times itself, which gives me a positive 9. So be really careful that you understand the difference between the negative when it has not, does not have parentheses and when it does. All right, so now let's talk about what happens when we have variables and we multiply them with exponents. So let's say we have x squared times x to the third. So again, a reminder that this is called the base, and when we have, when each number here has its own base, and we have x squared and x to the third, you notice they both have a base here. So this being the exponents means there's two x's here, and there's three x's here, and if you think about it, if we then combine those all together, and we were to rewrite this, multiplication between this is the same as the operation that we were using when we squared and did the cube to begin with. So this simply becomes x to the, there's five of them, so x to the fifth. So the shortcut is if you have two values with the same base, and they're sitting right next to each other, and they both have a base that's identical, we can just add these exponents rather than having to write it out every time. And for instance, this would be x to the 8, because we have 3 plus 5. Now let me show how that's different from something like this. 
Notice this here, we do not have two x's. We have an x squared that's raised to the third. We have a power to a power. That is different than this situation, where there are two x's sitting next to each other, each with its own base. So how we treat this situation is going to be different than how we treat this situation over here. This one, if we think about what it means, it would mean take x squared times itself three times. Then we can add the exponents because now we're in a situation like that where we have each one has its own base. So we can add the exponents. We get 6. So this is x to the sixth power. This over here was x to the fifth power. Now the shortcut, when you have a power to a power, since there's going to be three groups of two, that's just what multiplication is. So you can simply multiply here, and this is x to the two times three, or six. So we have the case here where we multiply versus divide. So this is a case of multiplication where this is a case of addition of exponents. So this is power to a power. Notice there is only one base here. And so we multiply the exponents. Here, there are two bases next to each other. So we are going to add the exponents. So here, we're going to get x to the 5 times 3, or 15. And here we're going to get x to the 5 plus 3, or 8. So now let's talk about what happens if we put a number inside the parentheses as well. What if we have something like this? Well, that number actually has a power. We just don't write it. He is 2 to the first power, even though we don't write that 1 there when we write a number. We don't usually write it if it has a power of 1. Even if it had been an x, we wouldn't have written the power of 1. So anytime there's a missing power of 1, I suggest that you write it in so that you don't forget to do the appropriate operation on it. So now that we have, we can see we have a power to a power, we just have it on two different things now. We have it on a 2 to the first and an x squared. So we're going to use multiplication, since it's power to a power. So we're going to take this 3, and it's going to get multiplied times each of these powers. So we're going to have 2 to his original power times the power on the outside, and x to his original power to the power on the outside. So this becomes 2 to the third times x to the sixth, which is 2 to the third is 8, x to the sixth. So let's do another one like that. Let's do 3x, y to the fourth squared. So again, there's no power here, but notice we can put a 1 there. And same thing on the x, we can put a 1 there. So now we want to take that power here, and it's going to get, you can think of it as being distributed among all three of these terms. And they're all power to a power. So it's going to be 3 to the 1 times 2, x to the 1 times 2, and y to the 4 times 2. So 3 squared, x squared, y to the 8th, or 9x squared y to the 8. So let's combine that now with 
uh, some of the other work that we've done. Let's say we have 3x to the fourth squared times 2x to the third times x to the fourth. And what does that equal? Well, we need to break it down. We can see we have two situations where we have power to the power that we have to deal with. So we're going to put our little ones where we need them. And we're going to distribute our powers. So we're going to have 3 to the 1 times 2, x to the 4 times 2, 2 to the 1 times 3, x to the 1 times 3. And this guy is just as he is because we didn't he doesn't have a power to a power. So this becomes 3 squared, x to the eighth, 2 to the third, x to the third, and x to the fourth. Now we combine numbers with numbers and x's with x's. So 3 squared and 2 to the third have to get multiplied times each other. So this is 9 times 2 to the third is 8, and 9 times 8 is 72. Next, we're going to look at our x's. We have x to the eighth, x to the third, and x to the fourth. Notice they each have their own base. When they each have their own base, it means we add the exponents. So I'm going to do x to the 8 plus 3 plus 4. So that's 8 plus 7 is 15. So I end up with 72x to the, oh look, it's already right there for me, 15. There's our final answer. All right. So we're going to have uh, write out a couple for you to do, and then that's how we'll end our lesson for today. So let's do 2x squared to the third times 3x to the fourth. And let's start off with that one. So go ahead and pause the video and work out the problem, and then unpause the video. All right, so hopefully you've worked out the problem by now. And let's take a look at it together. So we're going to put a one here. We're gonna distribute this three. So we're gonna get two to the one times three, x to the two times three, times three, He's to the 1, if you want to write that, and x to the 4th. So that becomes 2 to the 3rd, x to the 6th, 3 to the 1, which is just 3, and x to the 4th. Now, 2 to the 3rd is 8, and the other number here we have is 3. So these are the two things that has to get multiplied together. 8 times 3 is 24. Next, we are going to combine our x's. So we have an x to the 6th and an x to the 4th. They both have their own bases, so we can go ahead and add the exponents. 6 plus 4 is 10, so we end up with 24x to the 10th. Did you get it right? All right, we'll do one more. Let's say we have negative 2xy squared squared times x to the fourth y to the fourth. All right, pause the video again, and go ahead and give this one a try. 
All right, hopefully you've worked out the, the solution. So let's do it together. Remember this negative is in the parentheses. So since it's in the parentheses, that two is going to apply to the negative two. The negative is not stuck out on the side. So he is going to apply to the negative two. So it's a negative two, keep it still in parentheses, to the second power, first times second. It was a one to begin with times the second. Then we have x to the one times two, y to the two times two, x to the fourth, y to the fourth. So we need to evaluate this number here. So he's negative two times negative two, which is positive four. Now we're going to look at our x's. This is an x squared. So x squared with x to the fourth they each have their own basis, so I can add their exponents. x to the 2 plus 4 equals 6. And then we have y to the 2 times 2, so that's y to the 4th. And let's get a different color here. So I've got a y to the 4th and a y to the 4th. So I'm going to add every base. It has to have its own Grouping, um, the only exception to that is numbers. All numbers can be combined together. So that is 8. So I end up with 4, x to the 6th, y to the 8th. I know that one was a little bit more challenging because I stuck that negative in there. But remember, if it's in parentheses, then the squared is going to apply to it as a negative 2. I also added the double variables. Remember, x is combined with x's, y is combined with y's. Well, thank you for coming to this lesson of Apex Math. And please join us for our next lesson as we will continue to build on our exponent lesson and get you further along in your understanding of exponents.